Hello, my name is Carla Sims, and I would like to thank you for joining the Arkansas Department of Transportation for the virtual public involvement meeting for Project 080634, the proposed roundabout at Highway 64 and Hogan Lane in Conway, Arkansas. Today you will receive a presentation pertaining to improvements to Highway 64 and Hogan Lane, beginning with the purpose of the project, followed by steps to navigating the roundabout and methods in which to contact the department staff concerning this project. This is a listen only presentation. The purpose of the project involves implementing a roundabout intersection at Highway 64 and Hogan Lane in Conway. We understand that a major part of addressing road safety challenges involves intersections. Circular intersections or roundabouts are one strategy to address intersection safety. If you have not used a roundabout, the first time can be a little confusing. Let's begin with what is a roundabout. Roundabouts are very common in other parts of the world. They have been widely used in Europe for decades. They have proven to reduce travel time and improve gas mileage. That is due to the continuous movement of traffic rather than waiting on traffic lights or lines at stop signs. There are many types of roundabouts, but the navigation is similar. The graphic you see on the screen will assist you in maneuvering the roundabout safely. Let's first look at the green arrows. This driver wants to go straight through the roundabout. First, the driver should yield to oncoming traffic and stay to the right and continue through. Now let's look at the blue arrows. This driver wants to make a right hand turn. Once again, they must yield to oncoming traffic. Stay to the right and complete the turn. The orange arrows show how to navigate making a left hand turn. Remember, always yield to oncoming traffic. Go three quarters around the roundabout and complete your turn. If the driver wants to make a U turn, they would simply continue around the roundabout and exit on the same road from which you entered. That's indicated by the yellow arrows. Remember, you must yield to the traffic within the roundabout. Once a gap in traffic appears, merge into the roundabout and proceed to your exit. Look for pedestrians and use your turn signal before you exit. If there is no traffic in the roundabout, you may enter without yielding. You do not need to signal on approach to the roundabout. Use your right turn signal when passing the exit before the one you intend to take. If you miss your exit, simply go around again. There is no need to stop unless you see a vehicle approaching. To recap, as you approach the roundabout, look to the left to see if any drivers are traveling in the roundabout. If so, yield to them. Once there is an adequate gap in traffic, enter the roundabout. Use your turn signal as you approach your exit. If you miss your exit, just go through the roundabout again. This project will begin just after Boone Loop Road with the roundabout at Hogan Lane and end after the easternmost Boone Loop Road. This project will not require a detour. However, short-term flagging may be implemented. Access will be provided throughout construction. The typical section when approaching the roundabout consists of two 14-foot travel lanes and a concrete median. Within the single lane roundabout, one 18-foot travel lane, a 12-foot concrete pavement, and a 58-foot grassed central island. The design speed will be 55 miles per hour on the highway and 25 miles per hour within the roundabout. The project is estimated to be let in early 2022. We ask that everyone take the time and view the project information on the project website.
including the very informative video created by the Ontario Ministry of Transportation, which provides steps and examples to navigating a roundabout. We encourage you to complete and submit your questions and comments concerning roundabouts through several methods. You are welcome to follow the link below to submit your comment forms online. You may also email or mail your comment forms to the addresses on your screen. Comment forms will be accepted no later than 4.30 p.m. on Wednesday, September the 8th, 2021. For additional questions concerning this project, assistance with navigating the project website, or if you need help submitting your comment form, please contact me at the email address or phone number on your screen. Thank you for attending the virtual public involvement meeting for Project 080634. The construction of a roundabout at the intersection of Highway 64 and Hogan Lane in Conway, Arkansas.